By the end of 2025, something major shifts in U.S. airports. Not with a headline, not with an announcement, but quietly, in the design of the airport itself. Airlines are replacing human ID checks with biometric scanners. Boarding lines that used to have four staffed podiums now have one agent and three cameras. And here's the part most travelers completely miss. Once these systems become the default, you may feel like you can't say no, even though the law still says you can. In this video, I'll show you where your face is already being used as your boarding pass, how Europe will force every American tourist into biometrics beginning in 2025 and 2026, and the exact sentence to say if you want to legally opt out in the US. Let's start with the truth that almost no one wants to say out loud. Walk through airports like Atlanta, LAX, JFK, or Detroit, and you'll notice something subtle. The lines labeled touchless ID, the glowing facial recognition cameras, the giant screens that say, just look at the camera, you're good to go. This is the new sales pitch. Security, speed, and convenience. But convenience is only the front end. The real purpose is behind the camera. When you use biometric boarding, you're not just confirming your identity, you're helping the system learn your face, faster, cleaner, and more accurate for the next time. In other words, the system doesn't just verify you, it trains on you. Delta calls it touchless identity. United uses smart identity. American calls it seamless boarding. Different names. Same funnel. Once the facial scanner becomes the default option, the pressure shifts. You're no longer opting in. You're opting out which feels very different. And here's something travelers rarely hear. DHS can retain biometric records of non-citizens for up to 75 years. Citizens' retention rules are shorter, but the system doesn't need to store your face forever. It only needs to match it instantly, which it can do without saving everything permanently. Convenience is the bait. Your long-term digital identity is the cost. If you think the U.S. is moving fast, Europe is already at the finish line. Starting late 2025 into 2026, the EU will activate the Entry Exit System, or EES. Here's what that means for every American stepping off a plane in Paris, Rome, Barcelona, or Amsterdam. No more passport stamps. No more quick conversation with a border officer. Those days are over. Instead, you'll walk up to a kiosk. You will place your fingers on a scanner. You will look into a camera. Your face and fingerprints will be linked to your passport and stored in a massive EU database. And unlike the US, there is no opt-out in Europe. You cannot request a manual check. You cannot ask for a human officer. You cannot skip the scan. If you refuse biometrics, you simply do not enter the country. This will be the new normal for more than a dozen of the world's most popular travel destinations. It's the clearest glimpse into where US travel could eventually go. Now, for the part most travelers actually need. How do you protect your privacy in the United States, where opting out is still your legal right? Here's what the law says. As a United States citizen, you can refuse biometric verification and request a manual ID check. That part is simple. The hard part is everything that happens before you even reach the podium. Because, well, agents are under pressure. Biometric lanes are faster. Cameras don't argue cameras don't slow down boarding. So you may hear lines like, just look at the camera, it's automatic, everyone goes through here. This line is only for facial ID, you'll delay the flight if you don't scan. This is the only open lane right now, none of these override your rights, here's how to do it effectively. As you walk up to the podium, hold your passport flat against your chest, directly between your face and the scanner. This prevents the camera from grabbing a frame before you consent. Then calmly say, I am opting out of biometric verification and requesting a manual ID check. You don't need to explain. You don't need to justify. You don't need to apologize. The agent may sigh, they may look annoyed, but they must manually verify your ID. And here's the surprising part. When you do this firmly and confidently, the process often takes no longer than 10 seconds. Before we even reach the biometric future, there is a much closer threat most travelers are ignoring. May 7th, 2025. That was the real ID enforcement date. If your driver's license does not have the little gold star on it, TSA can deny you at security, even for domestic flights. No face scan will save you. 
No credit card will fix it. No workaround exists. Biometrics are optional. For now. Real ID is not. Check your wallet tonight. If your license doesn't have a star, go update it. Remember the days of handing your passport to an officer and getting that satisfying stamp? Well, those days are numbered. In 2026, airports across the US, Europe and Asia will move toward a fully biometric system. That means your face and fingerprints will replace traditional documents for everything, from check-in to boarding to customs. The system is already being tested in places like Atlanta, Dallas, and London Heathrow. You walk up to a camera, it recognizes you in seconds, and your boarding pass appears automatically. Sounds futuristic, until you realize there's no way to opt out in many airports. If you're not comfortable with being scanned or photographed, you'll have to join a slower manual verification line. And that line is expected to grow dramatically once these systems become mandatory. The new EES system in Europe will also record exactly when you enter and leave the EU. If you thought carry-on rules couldn't get worse, think again. Starting in 2026, multiple airlines are set to enforce new bag size and weight restrictions. Some are introducing digital bag scanners at check-in, automatically rejecting oversized carry-ons before you even reach the gate. Airlines like Ryanair, EasyJet, and a few U.S. low-cost carriers are already testing this. And the next phase? Charging passengers to use the overhead bins. Yes, you heard that right. Paying for space above your seat could become as normal as paying for the seat itself. Airlines argue it's about boarding efficiency, but let's be honest, it's about revenue. Here's the part travelers miss. Even full-service airlines are rumored to adopt personal item-only fare options next year. That means the bag you once carried for free could cost you $40 to $80 more per flight. Smart Move Invest in a small, structured, under-seat bag that meets personal item dimensions and use compressible cubes to maximize space. Also, weigh your carry-on before you leave home some airlines now enforce 15-pound limits for overhead luggage. Don't let your vacation start with an argument at the gate. Airport security is about to feel very different, and for once, that might actually be a good thing. In 2026, TSA and airports across Europe are rolling out next-generation CT scanners. These advanced machines can analyze the contents of your bag in 3D which means no more taking out laptops, liquids, or toiletries in many locations. Yep, the infamous 3.4-ounce liquid rule is on its last legs. Several airports in the UK and EU are already phasing it out, and TSA is testing similar systems at major US hubs right now. That said, don't get too comfortable just yet. Not every airport will upgrade at the same pace. So depending on where you fly, you might still need to remove your liquids and electronics. Another quiet change, shoe removal. The new scanners will be able to detect what's inside footwear, allowing most travelers to keep their shoes on during screening by 2026. Get ready, because your passport and boarding pass are about to merge. By 2026, the U.S. State Department will complete the rollout of next-gen e-passports. These digital-ready passports will include upgraded chips compatible with biometric systems and secure digital credentials that can live on your smartphone. In plain English, your phone could become your passport. Several airlines, including Delta, United, and British Airways, are already testing digital travel credentials. They verify your identity using facial recognition, so you can board without showing a single document. It's convenient, but also risky. Lose your phone mid-trip, and your digital ID goes with it. You could find yourself stranded without proof of citizenship. Smart move. Always carry your physical passport, even if you're using digital boarding. Keep paper backups of key documents, and store a photo of your passport info page in a locked notes folder on your phone. Technology is great, until your battery dies right before customs. Here's a rule change that hits where it hurts, your wallet. Starting in 2026, 
airports and airlines will quietly increase passenger taxes and environmental surcharges. You'll see them disguised as facility fees, fuel recovery, or green aviation levies. The UK has already confirmed an air passenger duty increase in 2026, and several EU nations are expected to follow. Experts predict similar adjustments will arrive in the US as airports modernize infrastructure. The tricky part? These costs are baked into your ticket, meaning you might not even realize you're paying more. Smart move. When comparing flights, check the taxes and fees breakdown on the checkout page and use airline credit cards that offer travel statement credits or fee reimbursements. Also, keep an eye on airport lounge access cards that include tax offsets or free checked bags. A few small adjustments can save hundreds each year. Air travel is changing faster than ever. In just a few months, airports will look and feel completely different. From biometric gates and digital passports to AI security lanes and new carry-on restrictions. But here's the good news. If you understand these new rules before everyone else, you'll skip the confusion, save money, and fly like an insider. So before your next trip, check your passport expiration date, update your travel apps, and keep watching Jet Set Genius for the latest insider airport updates that airlines definitely won't tell you. Because in 2026, knowledge will be your boarding pass.